the compiler, and the JVM. A programmer writes Java programs using an integrated development environment such as Eclipse, which you can download from eclipse.org. And there's a separate video that I have that shows you how to do that. And you can even use a text editor like Notepad or VI on Linux to create Java programs. You don't have to use an IDE. Anywhere that you can create a text file, you can create a Java program by simply just giving it the .java file extension. And any program with the .java file extension is called source code. This is the program written by the programmer. And a compiler is a program that takes the Java source code as input and it translates it to an executable form called bytecode and that is the output of the compiler. Bytecode is created by the compiler and it has a dot class file extension. Bytecode instructions are the machine language of the Java virtual machine and it cannot be executed directly by the CPU so you can only run a Java program on any device that has a JVM, a Java virtual machine, on it. The JVM is a program that emulates a microprocessor and it executes instructions as they are read. The JVM is often called an interpreter and Java is sometimes referred to as an interpreted language. This diagram basically shows your program from start to finish and what happens to it. So starting at the top left hand corner, you create a Java program by using an IDE such as Eclipse or a text editor and what you're doing is creating source code the .java file and this file is read by the Java compiler which compiles it, it checks for syntax errors and after those are fixed it'll compile and create the .class file also called bytecode and this bytecode is interpreted by the Java virtual machine which produces your program execution or the results of your program.